update. Let's get now to the front page stories. The Ghanaian Times reports that work on five kilometer Anamabo sea defense war begins. Government policies programs more impactful, according to the information minister. And I'm committed to corruption fight. President Ashore's nation yesterday spoke uh, at the bar conference. A daily graphic. I don't convict appointees. Allegations are referred to designated bodies. The president says so. Nagrat to meet NLC, uh, the National Labor Commission, over strike. Members in five regions laid down tools. An exhibition of voters register begins today. We'll tell you more about that later in the subsequent bulletins. And we won't <coughs> plunder at Itiwa Forest to mine bauxite. Jadek. Daily Guide. I am not a clearing agent. Nana says so. NDC youth lock offices in Kumasi voters register cleanup starts today and talk bank owners to face jail. The governor had earlier promised us that by December we'll see some uh, persons who are complicit in the collapse of the seven banks behind bars. Well, we're looking forward to that. The final newspaper, clearing agent tag baseless as corruption allegations probe or being probed. That's according to President Kufuado. Free SHS, 351 uh, 1,022 placed, 38,355 disqualified. Uh, Ghana up six places in latest anti-money laundering terrorist financial financing ranking. And Teshiman Omahin commends government for regular town hall meetings. My guest this morning, uh, Mr. Richard Ahiagba, he is a uh, Deputy National Communications Director of the NPP and also lawyer to Jita Maklo, who is also a member of the NDC's communication team. Chairman, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How is the Tuesday morning? So far, so good? Good morning, John. And uh, good morning to my senior brother. Okay. You want to go to court uh, over projects that, that have stalled? That's, that's what the mi minority is saying. The uh, government says <coughs> we are looking for funds to fix the, the problem. And you say you are going to court. Why? You don't have patience? I think, uh, once again, good morning to our cherished viewers. Um, I think we've gotten to a point where the desire to abandon these projects mm -hmm. had gotten to a criminal dimension. And I make this point because, you see, um, if you compare the hospital in Dodua mm. and you have government having expressed the same intention to build a similar thing, say, in Formina or Kumewu. Okay. And you see a situation where government appears completely clueless mm. or has deliberately decided to abandon these projects. Mm. Remember that any time you abandon a project and you want to start again, mm -hmm. it comes with what you call cost overrun. Right. And so at the end of the day, the cost to the ordinary taxpayer mm -hmm. would increase. And you note that the costs for all these projects, if you have to start again, we are having to go and borrow so much. Government, government says, look, when we came, we saw that some of the projects were uh, heavily costed, and so we had to and you know, put them on and you know, hold and to you know, an audit, and, you know, and, and you know, now we're looking for money know, to complete it. And you know the it. curious thing, mm. in all of this so-called claim of forensic audit, no, there is no instance that government had come out to say that by reason of this forensic audit, mm. the cost of this particular project had gone down. Let me give you a classic example. Look, if you look at Jasikai mm. Hohe Road, that mm. stretch, mm. before the NDC left, that okay. contract was given to Rolida right. at a certain cost. Okay. Government comes and say, in the name of audits, they mm. do not understand why that particular project should be placed under Coco project, mm -hmm. and so they needed to do an audit. Right. The road from Vekolenu right to Ho, uh, Hohe itself, from Soko Day to mm -hmm. Ho Township itself, the dual carriage road, all of these projects were abandoned in the name of doing forensic audit. To be told, after the forensic audit done by Coco Board, mm -hmm. we have expended close to $10 million in doing an audit. What is even critical is that the cost of all these projects have gone up. So the whole business of forensic audit has not in any way reduced the costs mm. of constructing these roads. Look, 
I am aware of a particular road project uh, by Fossil, uh, because I'm privy in terms of uh, a, a case I'm doing. Right. Look, by the time we were done, the cost overrun her alone has shot almost half the total cost of the project. And, and that's what the taxpayer is, is funding. And at the end of the day, you and I, including my brother Richard here, we are now going to pay all in the name of a very dubious so-called audit of these projects. I mean, this government, regrettably, is achieving a certain dubious distinction mm -hmm. Of wasting all our time, the whole Akufuado three years mm. had become a complete waste of our time. Sh shouldn't the because, government look, be able to raise red flags where it thinks that you know listen, something went wrong? And I've always maintained that you can always do an audit while the person is working. Okay. Audit does not mean stop work. If it's about cost, mm. there are standard process of costing projects globally. And that is why I've always maintained, when you are in opposition mm -hmm. and you begin to believe your own lies, you come to power and you'll be caught up with it. Listen, you recall Nanado Dankwe Kufado as opposition leader. Mm -hmm. One of his biggest mantra had to do with inflated costs of projects. Right. The Ridge Hospital project, mm -hmm. the, Kaswa, uh, the, the Kaswa Interchange, interchange. The, the Circle Interchange. Mm -hmm. Repeatedly, our president kept saying that those co projects were inflated. Mm -hmm. Do you know that it has to take the current Deputy Minister of Roads and Highways, Honorable Edwemi, okay. to even correct Nanado that he, being a ranking member on the Roads and Transport Committee of mm. Parliament, knew that when those projects came, they had value for money audit, audit. process okay. attached. Mm. And look, World Bank has the cost for asphalting a kilometer of road. Mm. They are standard projects. And so all these things were done at the Rose Committee. Today he's a deputy minister. He had a better appreciation because he had worked with Ghana Highways mm. Authority before. Mm. So when the then flag bearer put those, he quickly came out and said, look, these matters came to the committee. Okay. We've had the benefit of examining it. This is what we have got into. Look at the, uh, uh, the Ridge Hospital project. Mm -hmm. Our president kept saying the hospital project was inflated until he was corrected that the Crown agents, in fact, were involved mm -hmm. in the value for money audit process. I am saying that, listen, where we have got into as a people, mm -hmm. the people, you know, the, our people need these hospitals. They need this project. That makes sense. Look, we're, look, we're looking for funds to, see, to see, complete the projects. My brother, just have a look at the University of Ghana, that big the hospital. medical center. The medical center. Mm. What have we made out of it? So if people vote for you mm. with a view that government or governance is a continuum, mm. continue this laudable project, complete it to the benefit of the good people of this country. And for partisan political purposes, mm. you decide that, look, let me demonize mm. my political opponent in the name of so-called audit. Mm. Do you know how much it has cost the taxpayer to even audit the so-called cocoa road project? But, but uh, 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 you, if, you're, if, you're also, if you're also saying this, then the question would arise that, look, we don't have a lot of the health officials to be able to man these facilities. So while you were building that's and not now you're pointing... No, no, you're, no. You're, that's not inaccurate. Mm, mm. With the greatest respect to you, we have the, a lot of our young people, nurses, doctors, all over the place. In fact, if, if you if you if you do if you this is let by, me tell by the Ghana Health Services you know, old 20, 2015 report, mm. it says we have a shortfall no, of no, these no, health no, professionals. No, 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 you have no, not seen no, the report, no, Eduji. No. Look, you have not seen the, the report. No, the truth of the matter mm. is that look, if you open the University of Ghana, mm. the hospital today, and you say you need nurses, mm. doctors to populate it. I can tell you that you have more than enough and doctors. You, and I'm, I'm submitting to you that per the report of the Ghana Health Service, the doctor-patient ratio is not up to no, scratch no, there. You say, it's a listen, problem. No, you listen. When you say doctor-patient ratio, right. a lot of factors go into it. Exactly. For instance, even the desire by medical doctors themselves mm. to even go to that hospital is even another issue altogether. But I'm telling you mm. that in this case, it is government's own failure okay. to ensure that these hospital projects are put in working condition. Okay. That is why I brought us here. I am saying that John Dramani Mahama, 
demonstrated vision, mm. visionary leadership by what he did, even with Dodua. We okay. believe that within three years, Th thank the you. government thank should be thank able you. to complete that hospital project. Thank you. Project. Richard, no, no. why are the project stalled? You say you are looking for money to complete the project. AGG's side says, look, let's go to court. Let's take them to court because this is dubious. <laughs> You're wasting our time. People are dying. The hospitals are lying there, not completed. What do you say? Johnny, very good morning to you and uh, to your viewers and uh, my brother, Eduji. He said so many things uh, you don't even know uh, where to begin from, mm. all of which just being singing <laughs> from his own uh, okay. hymn book. There is nothing true about what he just said. Everything he says, he tries to condemn and try to claim that there is something being done on toward. Mm. Uh, he actually is pointing to himself right. because if you are in opposition and you are talking about individuals believing mm -hmm. uh, in their own lives okay. uh, in opposition and probably be shocked when they come to power, you are talking to yourself mm -hmm. because gradually the NDC is seeking to create its own gospel mm -hmm. of facts and are living by that. What I think, Johnny, mm -hmm. we should go to court about is a presidential candidate who has been nominated who was a president, vice president, who was a minister, who was a parliamentarian, an assemblyman, mm. uh, who wants to become president again. What's wrong with that? And cannot tell us the reason why. Cannot tell us his vision. Mm. We should go to court and demand, after all this, what do you want to achieve with your life? How does that solve the For problem Ghanaians. of the, so the I'm saying projects? if we have to go to court on okay. frivolous okay. stuff, mm. then we must go to court on an individual who has gone through the mill has been president mm. and lost election in this country, wants to be president again, should tell us in court what, what, his, what vision his vision is. is for this country. But that aside, mm, mm. Edwige is talking about His Excellency Leonardo Dango Gufaro talking about contracts being inflicted mm. in their regime, mm. and he has not been able to prove any. Did, Very, the, did the audits prove any? My brother, we sit in this country where the PPA is able Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to downgrade a uh, contract that was given under them to supply bags of, of fertilizers. Mm -hmm. huh? $46 per bag. We've been able to review that mm -hmm. and that is gone for $31.50. How, how does that Saving solve, how does hold that on, solve, hold on, hold does on, that solve the stalled project? I, I want your... No, no, I am your, coming. I'm, your, mm. There are many things you said. You I'm said trying you, to you're give trying him to, evidence okay. of what he thinks he doesn't okay. see. Mm. But those things exist. A total of $3.6 million will save this country. So you tell me who is protecting the public purse. Now, on the matter of stalled contracts mm. or projects, projects right. Johnny, you are in this country... Mm. Where 2014, 2015 fiscal year, the NDC took us to IMF. Mm. When they went to IMF, you know the condition for that IMF um, facility was to be in a position to fiscally consolidate. Okay. And when you're fiscally consolidating, what you don't have is fiscal space to do anything. And you saw at that time the reason why we have to seize taking students or taking uh, nursing mm. uh, students and uh, freezing mm. public sector employment mm. because you don't have the fiscal space. Okay. Now you tell me within that same window what fiscal space you have to finish those projects. So you see this thing is not just about speaking English. Mm. It's not about trying to analyze something. It's about being factual. You, you suggested that they took us into a ditch. They took us into a ditch. Apparently we know that. that has, nobody needs to tell us. We were growing as an economy mm -hmm. under uh, the NDC, handed over to them by former President John Ajekunkufo. You took a growing economy and ran it into the ground. Now, all the fiscal space you have to be able to complete those projects, you lost it. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then now you are telling us, oh, complete the project, complete the project. With what? There is no fiscal space to do so. But we have come creatively, okay. have managed. The things you couldn't do, we found room to do it. Now, why is he not telling us, for example, that yes, we couldn't pay uh, student, uh, teacher trainee and nursing trainee allowances, mm. but you are paying it. Okay. That is money, isn't it? Mm. Uh, we couldn't do, we the NDC, couldn't do free SHS. Today you are doing it. That is money. So, so you, you so understand? In effect, in effect, you're saying that these projects that will help the people 
uh, the district hospitals which have been stalled, which they are going to court for, yeah. uh, is uh, stalled because we didn't have money to be able to deal with, with exactly the because the they, because but, they but you took, say you are looking for funds now to to solve it. How, how far have we gone? I'm to, trying to create the uh, paint the picture for you because okay. even if you found the money today, all the projects that are outstanding, you can't do them all at a stretch. Right. You understand? Right. So when they are talking about oh you have stalled this and they are going to court, it's, it's the most frivolous things to do mm -hmm. because really, Johnny, what is at foot mm -hmm. here is that the NDC doesn't have anything to talk about because their presidential candidate has not put forward any vision to debate. Mm -hmm. So all they are going to do is this diversionary tactics. We are going to court there. We are going to court here to be able to hold us all ransom till after election. That is really the problem because look, this is not rocket science to explain this fact. You don't have money. Okay, because the NDC run the economy aground. But but the, the University of Ghana Medical Center, for example, is completed. I mean, the last time we, we heard about it, the only thing that was left was for a transformer yeah. uh, to give power to the place. But it's completed. There are people, nurses and doctors at home who are not employed, who could be running the place. Yeah. Why are we not, for example, opening that? That's a good question, Johnny. So the, the, question, the, the point I want you and I to interrogate but I will encourage you to talk to the Minister of uh, uh, Health. But the point I want you to just address uh, your mind to and the viewers is to say, under what circumstance mm, would this government, or any government for that matter, have a completed uh, health facility mm -hmm. ready to be used by its people and refuse to do it? You tell me, what have you found? It doesn't make sense to even suggest it. What have you it. found? I'm, I haven't found anything, okay. but I'm trying to say, on the surface of it, interrogate right. that. There is no basis, no justification exactly. for anybody to do that. Mm. So if the, uh, the facility is not being opened, there must be a reason why. Mm. So you find out from the Minister of uh, Health. No, you tell me. You're I in want government. to know also. You are, you are in government. You I am, don't know. I'm in government. doesn't mean I know everything to do with that facility. <laughs> okay. Okay? okay. But I'm trying to let you understand that if everything is ready, and there is no problem. Okay. That place will not be left uh, unused. Okay. So Eduji here should also be able to tell us if he's saying that the place is not being open, apparently for a reason, mm -hmm. that he must know the reason. He should tell us it's, if he knows it, better. It, it, why, why is but the place the not point, open? But the point, he will, he will have his chance to say, <laughs> but the point of the matter is that there must be something practically enabling okay. about the place. That's why it's not open. It, what, and I am what, telling what you, happen? let's find out what for the What would happen if the minority goes to court yeah. uh, and, and holds the government and says, look, deal with it or these are the reliefs we're seeking? What, what would be your, your way out? Are you going to talk about the issues you have said here, John uh, Mahama, uh, who has gone through the mill yeah. and wanted to be president again no. and not telling us why, or but, but leading is, us into a ditch. Yeah. What are you, what, what's going to be your yeah, response? Yeah, my brother here is a lawyer, okay? okay. Uh, I, am, I am nowhere close to being a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And the point of the matter is that they won't have any standing, in my estimation, in court, okay. to come and say, government, complete this project, and if we are bringing it to court. On what grounds are you going to court? Okay. He's the one to establish this, for us if they have any standing taking that case to court. Okay. What I'm telling you, Johnny, is this, that this is a diversionary tactic, mm. okay, to take away from examining why you want as a political party okay. after you have run this country aground okay. to come back again. Tell us what vision you have. Tell us what new you plan to do because okay. you have wasted our time. Because you talked about somebody having wasted anybody's time. Mm. If you want to really talk about it, and it's painful, Okay, mm. it's painful that the NDC, after eight years of mismanagement, mm. okay, PNDC, NDC, mm. 1992 till uh, 2000, mm. when President Kufour took over this country and we turned things around like mm. having a growing economy, mm. you come back and run it aground. The, there the is meantime, no In the way. meantime, the people mm. are Dodoa, the people are Legon, they are wondering, so if we're ill, mm. do we have to rush to 37? What happens to us? Do Johnny, we go to Kolebu? What the, happens to us? The people in Dodoa and which other places? What, what you do you say? I mean, most of the district yes. hospitals yes. that have stalled. What do you say to them? They are, they Somebody are, is pregnant at this point. Somebody has an asthmatic attack. Somebody yes. has uh, malaria, fever. Where do they tend to? They are pain. Uh -huh. And that travail that all of us Ghanaians are going through, including all the places you have mentioned, came about as a result of the NDC's mismanagement of this That's country. That's your opinion. I agree. And now, what do they do? No, it's not my opinion. What it's a fact. Do? What do they do? It's a fact. What do they do? They have a government that is working today okay. to ensure that...
situation is addressed. And that government is who we must support. That government is Nana Dodan So MPP what, what, what kind of support are you looking for? That is doing everything What kind to of ensure. support are you looking for? Oh, when, 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 uh, the support in many different ways as citizens. You see, the president called on, upon all of us to be citizens. Okay. We must understand and bear with the situation that the funds and the, uh, the, the resources to do that is being created. It's not readily available because we inherited a bad situation. If, if I have, and we are if managing... I'm, if I'm a woman and I have ectopic pregnancy... Yeah. And I'm between life and death. And this this is what you're saying, that I should be a, a citizen, not a spectator. Yeah. What kind of support can such a pregnant woman offer to you to save her own life? Well, the, the least we can do under the circumstances is to understand the difficulty we're in and understand that our leaders are doing the very best, except some, uh, some have been un, unfair to this country okay. by squandering mm. the opportunities given to them to advance our lot. Okay. But we have a regime that is doing everything it can mm. to push the ball forward. And in due course, all of those sacrifices mm. will we'll, we'll, yield We'll, we'll to talk about the president and his fight saying, against corruption. No, yes, 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 you have the minute, you see. But you see, you just interrupted without allowing me to even... My brother conclude. is a national but, officer it, it, of the You new... put your foot in his door. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you see, my brother here is a national officer of the new patriotic Part. Right. He doesn't even know that, for instance, the Legon Hospital, because it was modeled mm. around the Sheba Hospital in Israel, they had to send the doctors there, ask the minister. Mm. And I'm happy that he does not appear to know mm. what exactly is going on. That is the state of affairs. Even the president doesn't know what is going on. You can't say that. Oh, please. And I'll explain you, something. You, can't you see, say that. you see, there's something. On called, what strength are you saying that? There. There's something called visionary leadership. Okay. What those visionary leaders do is that they look for solutions. Okay. When the NDC came to power in 2009, mm. if you recall, the Gang of Four projects, right. the then administration had to urgently look for money. To solve that problem. We never went out there and say, oh, Kufa put these projects on GOG and so so and so. Atamels, John Dramani Mahama, what they did was to look for money to solve the problem. Today, when you are driving from uh, uh, Legon mm -hmm. right through to Adenta, you see the comfort. That is what you do. You don't keep on blaming your predecessor three years into your administration. We never elected lamentators. To the extent that today, this whole governance that we are having, and, and look, Johnny, to the, to, to the glory of God, you come and you say, oh, rich hospital is priced. Mm. The next thing you are saying is that, oh, you need additional funds. How do you go for additional funds over a project you claim is overpriced? That is the state of affairs. Additional funds and that work. is why, you see, Johnny, mm. if you look, Additional funds oh, to the you let me just complete the projects. Look, Johnny, mm. within the three years administration of Nanado Danko and Kufu Ado, mm. if you pick loans, grants, and revenue generated internally, government of Ghana has so far gotten 210 billion Ghana cities. Mm. So government of Ghana has enough money to do everything the, the and anything. The government says you left too many debts. Do you know what? NHIS they, no. debt. Plenty debts that they do you had know to what? go and Do you know what? What service? Service what? The debts that you left. What debt? Do you know the debt that we inherited? You took us to the IMF. But what IMF? But the, look, you see, that is why I always tell uh, our friend in the MPP. They don't really understand what is going on. Look, within two and a half years, <laughs> John Dramani Mohamed Esla, Energy sector levies alone mm. has generated to this government okay. six billion Ghana cities mm. to resolve the legacy debt. When you talk about legacy debt, did it start from John Mahama? The debt John Mahama incurred mm. or took over, did he bring it from Bali? These are debts right from independence mm. that all administrations have been trying to resolve one way or the other. But in any case, on this whole claim of public debt, mm. how much debt had this government, out of their incompetence, they have accumulated within these two and a half years? Okay. Uh, this government's <laughs> appetite for borrowing, in the words of Dr. Baumia, is like a drunkard who had gotten more drinks 
he will never stop. And so you have a government that had become so wasteful. 210 billion Ghana cities. That is the amount of resources. Never in the history of this country has any administration gotten this kind of money before. What are you no. doing with it? Johnny. Waste. <sighs> Thievery. Everywhere. Johnny, when, when, when is the minority going to court? No, for now, mm -hmm. we have given government a certain ultimatum okay. that the criminal abandonment of project is not going to help the good people of Ghana. Mm -hmm. We want Nanado to have a Damascus moment. Okay. No, but you have not told me where you are going to. Ah, that's what I'm saying. When is the ultimatum ending? Oh, we've given them ultimatum. How long? We want to believe how that. No, long? we want to believe that. Lawyer, how this long? Man, maybe in a man's time. <laughs> maybe, yes, <or> man. <laughs> I said maybe. Yanni, Yanni, you, you understand why he can't tell you time? No. Oh. Because being a lawyer, he knows they don't have any standing oh, how? to bring oh, this case. How? Okay, so that's why he can't tell you. Yes, me. because he can't tell you. Look, let's talk about this issue he's talking about. No, no, Do, hold, hold on for me. Take a look at the president yesterday. Oh, at so the you won't let me react to you. Oh, react. Oh, Take a look at the president react. yesterday at the back. And already. then we, no, will, no, no. We, will, we will sink it into it because I want us to have that conversation as well. Mr. President, he speaks now. It is not my job to clear or convict any person accused of wrongdoing or of engaging in acts of corruption. My job is to act on allegations of corruption by referring the issue or issues to the proper investigative agencies for the relevant inquiry and necessary action. That's the precedent on corruption. Rich, you, you had an intervention yes, quickly, yes, and then yes. we'll dovetail into this one, uh, you see, what the president said. Quickly, I, I know my brother is a fine lawyer, <laughs> but he's not an economist. <laughs> okay. So no. when we're talking... No, my first degree... No, no, please, no, no, please, 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 please. My first degree, I majored in economics. It's okay. It's you okay. may not be aware. Okay. okay. So, Just so, to correct. But so I appreciate so, the figures. Okay. So, so the, his, the his point... is an economist. Okay. But the fact that... I am maybe not. Yes, but he majored in economics. So I made a factual statement. But the point I am trying to make, Johnny, is that... Mm -hmm. that his understanding of the economy of this country okay. and his party's relationship to it, mm -hmm. why we are in the situation we're in, uh, is not up to par. Is the economy, so he doesn't. Is the he, economy pocket friendly? Uh, is the economy pocket friendly? Whatever you mean by that, it is not. Like, pocket like, like you, you have targeted to achieve 6.7% uh, GDP yeah. and you have done 7.6 uh, actually. That's, yeah. that's your target. You have done yeah. 6.7. Yeah. Do I feel it in my pocket? Is it pocket friendly? Even my friend Richard's but, but, pocket is empty. Oh, no, no. You can't say that. He's <laughs> our brother in power. No, he's empty. He's our brother in power. <laughs> you can't say that. He's our brother in power. But, Johnny, the interesting thing about it but is that... But you have not answered my question. Yeah, I will answer <laughs> because you have raised another one. <laughs> the, the, the interesting thing about it is that being in power does not equal to having money in your pocket. Right. We right. need to understand yeah. that because that is what feeds corruption. Right. You understand? And we are in a regime that says that being in power does not uh, guarantee you money in your pocket. You right. must work for your money. You, must work for you understand? It. So yeah. that must be clear. Now, you see... Is, there, the, is the economy pocket friendly? Of course, it has to be. Is it? It has to be. Is you it? Yes, it has to be. No, you are not answering my question. Well, is it? What ought to be what and what is hold on, are different hold on, things? Hold on, hold on. Is the economy pocket friendly? Johnny, listen to me. Let's not waste time. Let's not waste time. Okay, I'm not wasting time. Okay. No, because <laughs> after, when it's exactly uh, 8 o'clock, you're going to say you are closing. Richard, I hear about Yes, sir. My question is simple. Yeah. I'm saying that yeah. the figures on the paper yeah. are good, but is the economy pocket friendly? I think it is. It Johnny, is. yes. Okay. But you see, I like what you just is that said. His final answer? Just, I like what you just said. <laughs> Johnny. Not quiz show, okay. Please, yeah. Johnny, I like what you just said. That the economy on paper looks good. Right. But a time ago, under Edugi's uh, John Dramani Mahama NDC government, you couldn't say the same about the, the figures. You understand? So suddenly we have moved forward. The point of the matter is that we're coming from a place. And consistently, he talks about the energy debt that we have had from independence. Mm. You understand? If you look at the history of this country, uh, the political party and tradition, mm. who has had the balance of time to rule this country and therefore be able to contribute mm. significantly to paying that debt, is energy. Is it
the uh, length uh, of NDC time or the quantum of money you have had? But he's, he's how, the, how do you, which, which would you choose? The length of time you have been in government or the quantum of funds you have had to be able to solve the problem? The which would you, which they would you they choose? They correlate perfectly because if you are in charge, you create wealth. Mm. It's not as if you are just there and the money drops. Which you, means? the person in charge, you create the wealth for two, the country. You have billion. But you see, what did you do with it? Hold on. Hold on. That number, they're just throwing it out. It's true. Oh, please, 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 <clears throat> please don't tell me it's true. These guys, the end is. So how much they do were we talking how about the banking. Hold on, hold on. How much do we owe? You, hold on. Let's settle it first so what? that we don't how talk about oh. how much how much they are throwing about. They are throwing 10, 2 point, uh, 10. 2, 210 yes. about. Billion you see, that's not correct. How, that's that's how, not that's So not how correct. much do we owe? Hold on. How much have we borrowed? I, I want to get the answer from you. Johnny, Johnny we can have a meaningful Johnny, conversation. Johnny, I am I am I am I am telling you my thought. Okay. So if you just okay. pause okay. me okay. there, no, no. you I not agree, I agree with you. Oh, Brad Richard, slow down. Lord. I said 210. That's yeah. what he is alleging. Yeah, that yeah. You Revenue have. That and he says that is his fact. Yes. Yes. What is your fact? I'll get you my fact. Okay. But the point is that it's not true because just uh, recently, mm -hmm. I think last week or so, they stood in a press conference to say we've spent 23 billion in cleaning the banking sector. Total factual Total. manufacturing okay. of fact. Okay. So the same people saying this, you <laughs> cannot take it face value. Okay. You understand? So mm -hmm. that must be clear. We know where they're coming Once from. We know who they are. Our counterfact is about 13 point something billion. Okay. That was established. Okay. So Bank how, of how much have we borrowed? Huh? How much have we borrowed? Johnny, 210. Johnny, I think we can, we we can establish. Another, we need another session to <laughs> correct that. Okay, please, please. Let's so, talk about the so, president. So, so no, please, no, no, the, I think, the point. I think you The point I'm trying, I'm trying to make is this. That the NDC, okay, has no standing. The balance of the problem we're suffering in this country is as a result of their mismanagement. And we are determined to move the ball forward. Let's not fall, and I will not fall, and this government will How not fall. How much have you borrowed, Richard Ahiagba? Jo Johnny, that's public information. You oh, can find out. But if you, you know, counter. What, but let me finish. Ten, two, two, let two, two, me finish ten. my thought. Let okay. me finish my thought. We are not going to fall in the trap they are setting. Okay. Oh, that three years on, you cannot blame your predecessor. If the one who built the foundation built a weak foundation, okay. that's it doesn't matter how fast you are building the roof. Well, it doesn't matter when you finish building the house. Okay. The house will crumble no matter what. They Great. build a bad foundation, and we have to go back and retool the mm. foundation. That's why we are moving at such a slow pace. And they are not you, the ones you to You mean it's a foundation of straw? Yes, that's okay. what they built for okay. us. Thank you. Uh, the president yesterday, did you start the talk with you, spoke and says, um, well, he doesn't clear, he mm. doesn't prosecute. He would refer people to uh, the relevant agencies to deal with it, and, and the agencies have been the ones clearing them. But I have a fundamental question which I've been asking nobody has answered. So, for example, uh, we set up a committee to to investigate a matter of corruption. Uh, the committee says, well, you are exonerated. And I'll use Pius Enda Mahajide's example. Journalists were supposed to have been carried from this country into Australia. A committee sat and says, Pius is not complicit in it. But the government is not telling us who is complicit in it and how it, it happened. So my question is, committees have cleared them, but where are the reports? You know what? In fact, yesterday, our president, Nanado Dankwe Kufu Ado, right in front of lawyers, a Takradi. Were you there? No, I had to. Made a mess of himself. You can't say that. I'm saying that. Support it. In fact, support it. He with, made with. mockery of himself. In fact, who even prepared that statement or speech for him? Did he read through the speech? Look, you've asked a very more fundamental question. Today, Tokyo Olympics, the mini Olympics they have, mm. Ghanaian journalists have put in application to go there mm. so we can have the benefit of how that Olympics activity is going on. The embassy had refused legitimate Ghanaian journalists the opportunity because of the dubious conduct of appointees of Nana Dodankwa Ekufu Ado by inserting ghost names in the list of proper journalists to go for that event. You see, our president says institutions, statutory institutions, have had the benefit of investigating and have cleared those people. In the specific case of the visa racketeering, right. that my own brother, Pius Enam Hajide, Kwejo Ba and Co., were cited in it. Mm. What happened? 
the, the people who were represented or misrepresented as journalists, they were treated. So they never had the opportunity of meeting the CID investigators. Treated by who? Look, you know how people use this kind of travels mm. to let people travel outside. Right. Okay? And so that was what they wanted to do with the Australian opportunity. Mm. Then it backfired. And so these people who had these ministers wanting to help them travel abroad, and this thing having to come up. Mm. The ministers will call you. Oh, could you, me, I wanted to help you travel abroad, though, and you want to go to the CID to go and shoot me. <laughs> and so if you look at the CID report, what the CID report indicated was that the persons who were misrepresented as journalists never unveiled themselves to the investigative team. Mm -hmm. It is not because there was no wrongdoing. Our president is aware. Look, a classic case that I always use is the boss moving Pina 5 million contaminated mm -hmm. fuel issue. Look, the then CEO the of one boss, we saw Alfred Obey. Mm -hmm. In the case of Alfred Obey, he wrote on a piece of paper, deliver 5 million to Movimpina through expression of interest by Movimpina. Mm. When the scandal broke out, MPA being the body, the statutory agency responsible for the downstream, mm. came out and said Movimpina did not even have license and that it was even a sole proprietorship. With all these facts, a committee was set up by Boachi Ejako mm. to investigate the matter. Before the committee will finish its work, BNI, National Security, together with Kandapa, mm. sat at a press conference with the MPA boss and said they have done their own investigation outside the committee. Mm. And from their findings, the, you know, the, 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 the contaminated fuel was disposed in a competitive process. What the BNI did not know is that Alfred Obin had then granted interview to Atinka FM, mm. where he had indicated that the process of disposing the 5 million contaminated fuel was not competitive. So you're saying that the president no, is not fighting corruption? He doesn't even know what is going on. Oh, how can you, how can you and say you know some, like no, that? No, I'm telling you, you that. Look, I'm giving you the classic example of the uh, uh, boss moving Pina 5 million contaminated right. fuel. Okay. Mm. What happened at the end of the day? The man was cleared. Look, we were in this country. When a merry novation agreement went before parliament, mm. in fact, that was the day we were burying the late vice president, mm. Mr. Atta. The majority were in parliament about approving the Ameri Novation Agreement, mm. only for the minority to stop the meeting to say no. The thing had been overpriced by $800 million. Do you know what happened? No. It had cabinet approval, it had executive approval. Mm. The new statement on Friday that day reported that the president was misled. <laughs> Look, I mean, it's so funny so, so, to suggest that our president could be misled in a gargantuan theory of that nature. Eventually, what happened to Ejako? He was asked to go home. Nothing happened. Is that how the president said he's fighting corruption? Look, we are. How, how should he go about it? If you are not happy so far with how it's look, going about look, it, look, how should look, he go look, about you it? Say, you say, you say, you say, how, how should he go about it? Ah, there's demonstrable proof that. It is easier to take your political opponents to courts. Okay. That's so easy. To demonstrate a greater commitment to the fight against corruption mm -hmm. is to take your own appointees through the full rigors of due process. Nanado Dankwe Kufado does not have that confidence to do that. Look, classic. Oh. National Youth Authority. Yes, me. I'm just wrapping up. National Youth Authority. Asigri. Asigri. Two of his deputies. Mm -hmm have come out with their responses. Jojo. Uh, In those two responses, Bright Achampo says that he is a whistleblower. Mm. What is the president's response to where TV mm. corruption is exposed by his own appointee? He terminates his employment. That is our president's body language toward the fight against corruption. He cannot take it when his own people expose corruption under. Mm. Have you noticed? That almost everybody that okay. has had problem with Nana Dodanko and Kufado, right from opposition, the polar focus and everything, it's about stopping one form of TV, one 
form of corruption or the other. That is the, the dubious the, distinction the, of the our president. And I'm so disappointed. The, the president's credentials about anti-corruption, about human rights are uh, intact. You cannot say what you're saying. Uh, but Richard, There's no yeah. credential. Ri okay. Having demonstrated it's, this, look, Richard, uh, Richard, what is stopping us? The president says, "Look, he's not declaring agents, uh, as as is being said." But the scandals keep coming. Yes, Johnny. How uh, do we marry the two? Johnny, thank you very much. Um, believe me, if I tell you that the speech by the president yesterday, I have read the speech after having listened to him. I've read the speech. It's a fine speech. And believe me uh, when I tell you it's a fine speech because I spent a whole semester uh, reviewing presidential speeches. Okay. Okay. So, so it's I fine. know a thing or two about what a speech looks like. So it's a fine speech. It's a fine speech but to what purpose? that addresses, to what purpose? that paints a picture, mm -hmm. a classic picture of the situation we're in. He begins by underlining for us. I'm tempted to try to refute all the falsehoods he peddled. But let me go to the speech. He started by telling us what the challenge is that we face. Okay. And that is a deficit uh, of law enforcement. We have a lot of laws on our books. And my brother being a lawyer, he will agree mm. that today, 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 mm, mm. if all our laws are enforced, Ghana will be a different place. Mm. And he repeated this claim after he had said it in the previous, I think, the, the last year's mm. uh, conference right. of the GBA. Mm. So there is a certain belief in the understanding, and all of us across Ghana agree that if all of us will comport with the law uh, and make the law fully applied, mm. this country, corruption, development, everything will be on our way Who, who must lead the charge in ensuring that these laws are enforced? But you see, that, that who, is the question. Who must lead the charge? That's the question. All of us must. It, All it of us. Says so visionary that, leadership, leadership and direction okay. should that's come a, from that's the That's a convenient statement he's making. <laughs> is, you understand? Is it all right? He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't believe in what he's talking. Sure. But I am telling you about a president whose 40 years life has been a public domain, who yeah. believes and continually says that and then my brother as a lawyer should understand that so he begins from that premise mm. and tells us all the issues we have corruption you know um, all the litany of uh, issues we have to do we have to deal with in respect of galam C, mm. and all the, the issues that we are confronted with by enforcing the law are they, we, are they, we'll are they, not, are they not too many scandals coming up i mean beyond enforcing the law integrity on the part of appointees mm -hmm. who are trusted with the public office to deliver a certain mandate to the public good or in the interest of the public, me, who themselves go dip in their hands in stuff. <laughs> Where's the integrity? Johnny, Johnny the, the absence uh, mm -hmm. peace is not the absence of conflict. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is the ability to handle issues through peaceful means. Okay. That is Ronald Reagan who talked about that. And I am telling you that the fact that President Akufado is committed to fighting corruption okay. doesn't mean there will not be allegations of corruption. Publish the reports. No, no, that hold says on, hold on. We are hold on, hold on. Allow me to make a case So here. that if I have a contrary evidence, I can measure it up with what your findings have been and then satisfy my curiosity that indeed you are fighting Where corruption. Okay. So, I, I'm, so, I'm just asking. So, so, no, you are, just, you are saying your statement. But I want no, you to... No, it's a question. It's yes. A but, but I'm telling you, Okay, the, his commitment, which is demonstrable by his 40 years right, being right. in the public space, okay. uh, does not mean the absence of allegations. Fact and over. But, but the point of the matter is, mm. what, his, what is his posture, commitment to dealing with this? Deeds, no words. Exactly. So, so and show, did say show me the deeds. So, don't, so don't if tell you me don't allow words. me to tell you the deeds, I won't. Mm. But allow me and I'll tell you. We began from day one. When appointments of a minister was made, simple co uh, confirmation, the NDC was up in arms. Because now they have resolved to say, mm -hmm. the reason we lost is because our people were corrupt. So in equalizing, let's go out there and be overwhelming in terms of just throwing dust of corruption NYA, against this government. GPA, I am a list. I'm, I'm coming we, we there. We have a long no, list, a Johnny, compendium. Johnny, 
I am not. Is it just equalization? I am not intimidated okay. by incidents of corruption in this government, but okay. I am convinced mm -hmm. by the determination to address it head on. So we talk about that initial okay. claim of corruption mm -hmm. by the NDC, led by Mahama Yarga, mm -hmm. uh, that Boatier Jaco is uh, trying to compromise the committee. What happened? It was investigated. They won. It was investigated by parliament. Okay? <laughs> was victim by parliament. Committee. Yes, yeah. by parliament. And it was the out live on TV. Exactly. <laughs> you see, he, he's not even able to admit that. But the point of it is that it came out to be that it was false. They won. What has happened? The, the, the master of NYA, tell me. I'm coming. What, the I'm coming. There? The point I am making, if you allow me, I'm trying to paint no, a picture wait, for wait, you. Wait, wait. I'll paint one picture and paint, you can answer the rest it. of them. Paint it. Okay? So the point is that you see from day one, the commitment of the NDC to try to tag this government with corruption because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Ayariga came to apologize. It's a reality. Corruption okay? is a reality. So wait, wait, wait. So Mahama Ayariga came to apologize. After he thought he started NYA, to establish... NYA, what has happened? Uh, the NYA, I'm asking for Pius's report. And NYA, 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 oh please, NDG, NDG, relax. NYA issue is under investigation. Mr. Okay. Sigri is being investigated. But he's been sacked. Yes, he's had with benefits. So, so and can, then another, oh, so can you help yourself, Edigi? Can you help yourself? Okay. Help okay. yourself. Okay. So understand, it's been investigated, and you are not allowing me. But, but, but you see, in the speech, if you read the speech, the president went one issue after another, and the steps he has taken. He's been giving ex gratia. When is this? I mean, that, that is law. I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure how you want to explain. Is that the, is that the law? Is I, I am not. I am not interested in that. We're talking about the corruption and what you the president is doing. You should be interested in that. That somebody is supposed to have. I can only he answer one he question. With benefit. And he's been giving pay. Johnny, do you want me to answer benefit. your question or not? No, 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 allow me. You have me, you ask me a question. Let me answer one before he ask the next. Okay. So because the you're question, not answering the question no, no. for me. Ah, but how? What question do you want? Which one do you want me to answer? You, so you are, I'm asking you about NY. You are going back to Boache Jaco. Oh, I finished Boache Jaco. Okay. NYA have come. You okay. asked me. I said, okay. I agree. He's been investigated. Right. Okay. And I'm asking you, yeah. he's been investigated. He's been sacked. He's been given benefits and he's not being investigated. What's the purpose of the investigation? Ah, but the investigation is to establish corruption. Okay. Right? Is that not what we're interested so in? So until then, he gets his ex gratia? Look, if if you have concern with that, I am not aware. You are not concerned I'm, about I'm, No, no, I'm not aware. But I'm saying that if that is a concern, here is NDC who has all time on their hands to go to court over frivolous stuff. Okay. Take that to you court. You want them to go to yeah, court? Yeah, you can go to court okay. on that matter. Okay. Because we are all citizens at that point. So, so you can bottom go to line court. is that but the president the is line, to cross. Yes, that's what you see, saying. that's what okay. I'm interested in. Okay. okay. So, they, they, I saw a tweet, and we're wrapping up on this. I saw a tweet. It says the intro vet disruptor. It says things in Zambia are a mess on so many levels that I have to ration time in my day to be mad about different things. At 10 a.m. he gets angry at the economy. At 12 p.m. he gets angry at low shedding. 6 p.m. on corruption and 8 p.m. on hypocritical Christianity. If you had to ration your time, how do you ration it? I Let's start we are, from... We are in a situation of hopelessness now. So 10 a.m. you would Everything ration. is hopeless. So nothing you're just... Is, nothing is working and then another down Okay. Would you ration your time? How would you ration it? My <laughs> brother, if I if I do anything, I would say next time, just allow me to answer your question on corruption. So that's how you ration your time? <laughs> yes, to answer... You rushing for free as you just... No, no, well, I'm coming. Because now we have seen the strategy, Johnny. The NDC is doing Ghana a disservice. Okay. And that disservice is that we are going to lie about this government to say they are corrupt. Mm. And when we do that, it gives us a chance to win. We are not going to present any vision. All we're going to do, all we're going to do is cry wolf, 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 and that is not going to stand. We will defend it in the morning, Johnny. If you want me to ration, yeah. in the morning we'll defend it. Okay. In the afternoon we'll defend it, and in the evening we'll defend it. So yours we're is defending defend, defend, defend. a just cause. And defend yours is hopelessness. Yes. <laughs> okay. Lawyer Didi Tamaklo speaks on behalf of the NDC. <laughs> has been here, and the Richard Ahiagba is a national deputy communications officer of the NPP. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. I